Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens. I'm in Bali, Indonesia, staying at the Sofitel Bali. And today it's Sunday, and I am here for their very, very well-known Sunday brunch buffet, which many people say is one of the best buffets in all of Bali. I'm hungry, and I'm very excited to show you all of the food at the buffet today. I was doing some work for Accor Hotels, that's why I'm in, I'm in Bali, and then they invited my wife and I to spend a few nights at the Sofitel, which is in Nusa Dua. And it's a, it's a really, really nice hotel. They invited us for the buffet today, and they are, I think they're opening, they're opening right now. We're here a few minutes early. I'm gonna give you a full tour. We're gonna eat some amazing food. I am hungry. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. We chose to sit inside uh, because outside by the pool it's a little bit sunny, but it is a really, really nice environment. So we're gonna get a quick tour of the food first. So here is all our uh, salad station. We have all the, the tapas. Okay. Here obviously French hotel, we have a lot of uh, cheese, no, the, honey, the rock corn, the malt. They have a huge selection of cheeses and cold cuts. All right, and over here, Carving of the day, Baramundi. Oh, nice. All baked, you know, with the salt crust, and you got okay. the beef Wellington with the nice beurre sauce, sushi counter, and you got the antipasti, terrines, and some more carving with the shawarma and well. This is our Indonesian corner, so we are. Oh, nice. Like a tuna, and we grill it in front of them with the prawns, even the, nice. the calamari. Nice. Hello. What about you? Pasta as well. What kind of French? Meatball. European. take a full walkthrough of the buffet. It is an incredible buffet. There's literally everything you can imagine to eat. Well, not everything, but quite quite a, a massive selection. And it is, there is some French influence. Sophie Tell is a French hotel, so there's, you can expect some incredible breads and pastries and cheeses and deli meats, but there's a small Japanese section. There is an Indonesian section, which of course I'm very interested in. Now to start eating. I have to begin with the seafood selection that is just calling my name to begin with. We're flowing with seafood. There are mussels and I think these are clams. There's crab, there's shrimp. I got some seafood that you can eat raw and now I'm gonna go for some of the, the seafood that you grill. Oh, and that sambal. Yes, but on top. Okay. I'm glad I went with the seafood first because the buffet is just getting packed right now. But there is just an abundance of wonderful oh, some champagne. Thank you very much. Welcome. I tend to always go for seafood when I eat buffets, and for some reason, usually my first bite is an oyster, and I don't mind that it always is. Squeeze that with some lemon. Are these already loosened? Oh, 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 oh it's so juicy. Okay, I'm slurping that. That's just jelly. It just disintegrates in your mouth. I think I forgot to get the crab, crab claw crusher, so I'm just gonna have to eat the body and I'll go back for the... Okay. Oh, look at this nuggets of meat in here. Oh, yes. Okay, that's gonna take some, some gnawing action to get all that juicy goodness. Oh, you can feel how juicy it is already in your fingers. Oh man, it's so sweet. It's so like crab juicy. Okay, and on that note, I think my grilled seafood is ready. I'm gonna go get my grilled seafood. Thank you very much. Thank you. These are king mackerel steaks and then shrimp. I double backed for some of the sambal and I saw they had some sambal mata, which is something I'm obsessed with, which is made with 
uh, torched ginger flour, and there's also some shallots in here, and I got some other sambal as well. I got Let me try a piece of that fish. Oh man, it just falls apart. Okay, and I need to add some of that sambal onto this bite. Well, that's unbelievably good. Okay, I'm gonna need a mountain of that sambal mata. That is just insane. Okay, moving on to some of these these prawns here. Oh, you can see how how wonderfully juicy and all that that flavor from the grill is on that. Oh, oh, that's stunning. Oh, it's so firm. And then with that extra sample, you can taste the smokiness from being grilled flamed up when you put it on the fire. You can taste that in every single bite. I'm very, very happy already. All right, let's try to do this as pretty as possible. Oh, that is kind of pretty. Oh, oh, it's just juicing. Look at all that juice just dripping out of it. Oh, wow, I'm impressed. That is sort of a, a clean nugget bite that came out. Usually I'm, I'm pretty messy when it comes to eating crab. Oh, wow, that's juicy. Mm. Oh, it's, that's insanely good. Plates one and two were impressively delicious. I especially love that grilled seafood. Now... Before the next plate of food, we're gonna see a magic trick. Hey, hello there! I'm Julius from Bali. Look, watch. This is a lot of cookies here, so I will take one of them here. You see? Okay. Okay, Oreo. Oh, this is so yummy. What is Oreo from Sophie? I will eat this. Mmm! Oh, it's back again. It's like magic. Crazy! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you also <laughs> <laughs> Okay, for my next plate of food, I went to the Indonesian section. They have a dish called ayam tutu, which is one of the, the most well-known Balinese dishes. And this is with chicken. And what they do is they pack it full of sambal, a chili paste blend. There's lots of lemongrass and galangal in there. And then I think it's braised and then smoked. <laughs> I got a little bone. It's just a spectacular dish. You can really taste that lemongrass. You can taste the turmeric in there, and it's garlicky, and you can taste the shallots. I also got some sambal ijo, which is the, the green chili sambal. I'm enjoying this. As I was finishing that plate of food, he came around with chicken wings, served in a little cup with some blue cheese. Thank you. Okay. It's pretty good. It's very, oh, I can taste that blue cheese. Hello, can I have one, yeah, one piece of Wellington and one piece of, and the lamb, please. Thank you. Thank you. For my next plate of food, I decided to get, it's kind of like all your essential meats on a single plate. I'm gonna try some of that beef, beef wellington. Fork tender. Oh, with some of that sauce. Anything else? Mm. Oh yeah. That's fantastic. That lamb chop next. Oh, it's juicy, all right. Oh yeah, look at that, that looks wonderful. The juices are flowing. Mm. Yeah, and then also got some, some duck over here too, some roast duck.
pulled out a cart directly to my table with an entire wheel of cheese on it. He swished it around in there and just coating it in even more cheese and he whooshed that around. It just, yeah, it's it's just looks to be a cheese lover's dream come true. I'm gonna see how my pasta twirling skills are. So far, not too bad and not too Oh, oh no, I got some hangers. Oh, wow. That's just creamy, cheesy heaven. Well, that carbonara was pretty rich and really heavy and really, really good, but I'm starting to get kind of full, I have to admit. So we're taking a little intermission. We're taking a little walk now through the through the tropical beauty of the hotel. And then I'm gonna go back and try to eat. At least, I gotta, I gotta try the salad. The salad looks amazing. Oh, some cheese, I gotta have some cheese. plate of food I got a mix of salads and I got a few cheeses including some of the the really really fragrant pungent cheese as well and then they had some mushrooms I got some tomatoes and some eggplant and just a few pieces of ham I gotta let me try one of those mushrooms first oh they're so tender you can taste that butter it's just absorbed into those mushrooms as well Ooh. oh it's really good though. Mm -hmm. It's really creamy. And you can have, definitely tell that it's it's been alive for a very, very long time. With some mustard. Mm. Follow that with some onions. Oh, that's a lot of onions. Mm. That cheese is actually really good. I'm tapping out of the main course of the buffet. I'm gonna go into dessert now. I know my dessert's plate is not the most impressive. I'm not, not a huge desserts guy. I got some fruit as well, including the the passion fruit, which in Bali is excellent. Uh, let's try that. Uh, let's try that that chocolate fountain. Those chocolate dunked pieces of cantaloupe. Oh. That is pretty good, though. It's really, really nutty chocolate, and then you've got that kind of crisp cantaloupe underneath it. Okay, chocolate tart. Oh. Watermelon. That doesn't taste sweet at all. After that chocolate. I've loved passion fruit all my life. Mm. Mm. It's sweet and the seeds are the seeds are not too crunchy, they crunch really easily. Awesome, awesome passion food. And that is the way to end this extreme Sofitel brunch buffet in Bali. I have officially surrendered to the buffet. I had to retreat. That was a lot of amazing food. What? I've been to a couple of Sofitel buffets. Uh, one specifically in the Philippines, which was also incredibly good, one of the, the grandest buffets. But Sofitel really does a good job with buffets, uh, both with the the. Well, what, what I really like is that you can you know you can go to a buffet and everything is mass produced, so things often don't taste so good. But the the Sofitels they're really good at maintaining the quality of food, while also having a huge quantity, a huge selection. And I also thought that it was a really good mixture between European food as well as local Balinese Indonesian food as well. Big thank you to Sofitel for inviting me and also for allowing me to film everything. 
that was really cool and very nice of them. So thank you again to Sophie Tell. And big thanks to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Bali, and I'll see you on the next video.